Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, today we will continue from where we left off in the last video. Um, in the previous video, we merged household data from multiple indicator cluster surveys mix to the women's data set uh, of the same source, meaning mixed data set. Uh, we are using mix 2017-18 for Punjab, Pakistan. This data set is freely available on UTSF's website. You have to register it and request it, and they provide the links for you uh, for free. So you can download this data set and practice at home. Um, if you are using it for your research or for your work, this video is, uh, I hope that it will help you. So in the last video, I merged household data with women's data. And today I'm going to merge uh, child's data also with the uh, household and women's data so right now i'm inside women's data so uh, you can see it here i will bring it here down uh, if i can zoom it that would be better uh, this right here we are going to merge since we have many um, since we have uh, many observations for household in this data we use many for master file we use one for using data because we are going to be using uh, household data right here let me get rid of this household data in household data we have one observation per household this i explained in detail in the previous video if you're not following it i recommend that you go there in the previous video and try to understand what we're doing so in short we have multiple observations per household in women's data because there is possible that in one household we have two women so household id repeats for both women uh, but in household data we have one observation per household okay okay so we have this table that like we had in the previous video so this is the important table that we have to look at let me see if i can zoom it in for you this is the table that we are looking at uh, we have uh, uh, 6,100 and something observations that are not matched. They are in the household data and this, this is because in those households we did not have eligible women for women's data. So you have a choice. You, either you can get rid of them or you can uh, keep them in your data. So I can, if I, if I want to delete all observations that uh, were not matched. What I will do is drop if underscore merge. Underscore merge is the new variable created by stata after merging command. It's right here at the bottom. And if this is double equal to two, it means that um, it will delete all the observations that were not matched from the using file. This is mentioned right here from using six a thousand something and this is recorded in underscore merge equal to two so i i define this and i delete so it says that six thousand something observations are deleted so we are now left with all the observations that are available what do we have to do i'm in this video i'm going to show you how to merge child's data in this file now okay let's open child's data this is the one okay now Open it up. So, what we have right here on the right hand side is let me see if I can zoom it. Right here. Right. So, HS1 is cluster number like before, HS2 is household number like before. We have child's line number in UF3. Okay. And child's line number is kind of for for now is not useful for us for merging purposes because in mother's data and household data that we merged already before we do not have child's id right so what we need from this is that we need mother's id and that is available in uf4 you can see that uf4 is mother's or caretaker's line number so is this variable is called uf4 here uh, but we need um same we need the same id the same variable name in both data sets for stata to recognize that it's going to match the correct persons with each other right so what we have here is that we have 
uh, unique observations for each child right but we do not have unique observations for each mother okay uh, but in the previous data set that we use we have unique observations per mother so we merged um, child's uh, mother's data with their household data right let me try to draw it i think it will be much more clear let's just say that we have this household data set and we have one observation per household okay, okay? because it's about electricity about what kind of fuel they are using and so on okay and it's quite possible that in each household we have in one household we have two women right so we have another box here let's say women woman number one and could be that in the same household there is woman number two okay um, now when we are merging uh, child's data here it's quite possible that um, woman two has two children right so that would be child number one and child number two okay now what this means why I'm drawing this horrible looking diagram the reason is that when I look at this child data set right here when I look at their mothers their mothers are the same so in front of this child we will see mother's ID the same mother's ID let's say mother's ID is 2 for this child this child also is the same mother so this mother ID will repeat for this child what this means is that we have multiple observations for women's ID in children's data contrary to that if we look at women's data, we have women specific observations in women's data. So there is no way, uh, it doesn't make sense to have multiple observations for, for women. So if we are recording a woman, her age, um, her height, her weight, her health, pregnancy, and so on, we just need different variables, per one but one observation per ID. Uh, women ID is mentioned. Let me go back to it this is the one where we must so this is women's id and we have different variables and on when we move in this direction we just need one variable one uh, observation per each id we don't need to repeat it because we don't need two observations per per uh, woman right here okay the point that i'm trying to make here is that when i try to merge child's data with uh, the already merged file of household plus women's data what I need to understand is that women's ID might repeat now I'm in child's data so let me demonstrate what it means um, this is women's ID so and, uh, let's also take child's line number here this one okay now Mm -hmm. let me see let me find an example for you this one so you can see that is the same household uf4 is women's line number so it's the same woman but it, she has two different children id number is six and seven right here so it means that in child's data set we have unique observations for child but mother's ID can repeat, right? So we have to keep that in mind when we are merging it with this data right here. So let's go back to our merge data set. We again copy this command. So in now, in I'm in master file right now. First, I need what I need to do is I need to make sure that the variable names are the same. So here, uh, in children's data, women's caretaker's line number is uf4 so what i can do is i can in the merge data set i can create a new variable 
let's generate uf4 which is equal to w13 right because here it's called w13 to rather i can also rename it but i want to keep the original one because i might need it later on um, so women's line number is w13 here so i'm using this information to store in new variable called uh, uf4 so generated this variable is generated right here at the bottom right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to since i'm in the master file i need to merge it with child's data it's in the same path um, now i don't only need household id and cluster id now i also need women's id so i just created a new variable uf4 i'm going to do that now this is the identification that I've provided to Stata. Now Stata knows that he uh, it needs to look into this combination. Women living in particular household in the particular neighborhood. This is the combination. Now in this combination is unique in the master data set. Right now we are in the master data set. The data set that we are working on is master data set. Here, as we have discussed before, we have one observation per woman. So this is unique. So I'm going to change it to one. The first instance in after merge is one. And this combination, mother's ID in the household, in the neighborhood, this combination is repeating in the child's data set. As I said, this combination is repeating in child's data set. So what I can do, uh, because it's repeating, I just write M. So merging will be 1 to M in this case. Okay. Now I'm going to run this. Okay, so it's good that the errors are happening so that you also know that this problem can occur. So since I already did one merge operation before, there is a underscore merge variable already created here. So either I can delete it or I can rename it, but I, I don't need it. So I'm going to drop it simply. And I will press page up twice. I will get to the previous command that did not run before. And I'll run it again. Here we go. So it matched 42,000 observations and uh, not matched from master is 51,000, not matched from using is 374, okay? So it means that uh, from master, it means that there are uh, some cases in which um, uh, the women, women is available, but there is no uh, child for that woman. So in child's data, there is no ID for that woman. And the reverse is true here. So 374 children, we do not have observations in this data. There could be several reasons, but we are not interested in them for now. So let's have a look. Okay. Do we need to select them all? We have this, we have this. Let's take one of the women's indicators, age of women, attended school. Um, let's take some of the household characteristics. Um, let's find child diarrhea. And here it is. Okay. Show only selected variables. So you can see, okay, so UF3 is child's line number, here it is. And uh, we have in front of her, if in front of her is mother, the household that he lives in. So this is what we have done. We have merged all this data together, right? So this is how we merge multiple data sets in MEX. This can get more and more complex. Uh, when we you merge uh, with birth history, you have to be extra careful. What we can do is uh, we can also make it a little bit more complex where we go to the birth history of women, then merge 
this data set with the birth history try to combine father's data with mother's data it's a little bit more complex uh, if you're interested in this, uh, this kind of stuff let me know i'll try to make videos on that as well thank you